Got a couple fans going. Let's turn this off. Let's turn this off. Nice. This is the Sofa Baton Universal Remote, and I am in love with this thing. This is so cool. What makes this really unique is that you can easily program any other remote that you already have. So for example, I have an evaporative cooler remote, and I often can't find this. So all you have to do is you download the app, and then you just kind of press the buttons, and it will learn each function, and you can program which button on this remote you want to do different things. So I also have another evaporative cooler cooler for a different model. I can program this in. I can program in a bunch of different devices. And then you have this scroll wheel up here that you can cycle through which device you want to do. So you can see all the different devices I have programmed so far. The reason I like this remote so much is that I review a lot of products. So I have a lot of evaporative coolers. I have a lot of fans, got TVs, and a bunch of other things that use remotes. And I lose remotes all the time. I also have four young boys and they like to take remotes remotes for the TVs and take it to different places and we can never ever find remotes. Not only can you easily program this remote, but you can also search database of existing things like TVs or DVD players or whatever, and you can upload that to this. We've got three TVs here. I did it with each TV and it worked so easily. This was so nice. Right now, I want to show you how you can set this up and program your TV. I also want to run through and show you how I programmed this remote to work with this. This is the universal remote, so you do have a manual that will help you get started and then the remote and it comes with two double a batteries included let's go ahead and install these the very first thing it says is to connect to the sofa baton app so let's go ahead and download that and if you do a quick search for sofa baton that comes up so we'll go ahead and install it so we can pair it with the remote it does require an account but you can just log in with one of your google account and when you first open the app it asks what you want to connect we will connect to this remote connect remote so press these two buttons at the same time until it says pairing on the screen it says pairing wow that was quick yeah let's go ahead and connect it seems like you haven't added any devices so let's go ahead and do that all right so let's connect infrared and i want to learn a new remote okay please locate your original remote and point to this remote okay sure next next press the icon of the key you want to learn oh cool this is a really sleek setup so we will do the power button okay and then i'm going to press and hold the power button on my remote successful Huzzah! Now obviously this is not a TV remote. This is for my portable evaporative cooler. So a lot of these buttons are going to be kind of unique. Let's see how we can make this work. So the light button, I would say that's fairly similar to mute and unmute. So let's go ahead and do that. That was successful. The fan speed, I would say that's a good volume button. So we'll do that. Now this is slick. I really like this remote remote timer that'd be a channel button probably okay pull on and off i'm just gonna press the blue button that's the closest thing for that and then oscillate, I think play button makes sense. Okay, so that's done. Device name, we'll say new air. So the device name does have to be a bit short. So we're just gonna go with new air cooler. Then device icon. Wow, not a lot of icons to choose from. That's kind of unfortunate, but we'll just go. I don't even know what this is. And then next, complete. So cool beans. So you can't see this very well in the camera. And in fact, this is not very bright. I think at night it would be brighter, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Adding an existing remote is super easy and super cool. What about adding a remote that doesn't already exist or is for a TV? Let's see. We want to do infrared learning searching in the database. Okay, so I've got down here a Vizio TV. Vizio, right here. Whoa, that's a lot of how on earth.
earth am I supposed to know which? That is a lot of models of Vizio TV. There's no way that Vizio makes that many TVs. Is there? Is there? That's insane. I'm going to go look and see if I can find the model of that TV. Okay, so I just took a picture of the model of TV, and it is the E55U D2. So E55U D2. Okay, so once I exited out of the app, it seems to want me to pair again every time. So let's try that. Put it into pairing mode. Connect. Oh. Oh, successfully connected. Okay, so whoops. so we are going to add infrared searching Vizio again. I found out the model is the E55U D2. It says found it. That was easy. Device information. I'm just going to say it's good. Icon, TV, sure, complete. Wow. So it's uploading the infrared code to the remote right now. All right now, if you look at the remote, and again, it's hard to see, but I can go between these two. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. I'm going to go to the TV and try it out. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Totally works. This was sent to me so I could do this video review and I am totally impressed with this. I really love this remote. I think you can probably tell by now. This is an item that I think probably everyone should have. This should be in every household if you have multiple remotes. This is super nice. Now I do think there is a bit of room for improvement. I actually wrote to the company and I asked if there was any way I could download the information on the app or the codes so I could back things up because Realistically, if I lose this remote, then I'm kind of hosed because I've been programming everything on here. It'd be nice if I could back that up. So if I lost this, I could get another one and upload all that data. That might happen in the future, but currently that's not a possibility. The other improvement I think could be added with this is, well, what happens if you lose this remote? I think if they had like tracking built into this so you could use your app, press a button, and then this would beep so you could find it, that would be really nice because let's face it, everyone loses remotes at some point and this is not a remote that you want to lose. I really, really like this remote. It's very rare that I find a product that I would recommend to literally just about anyone, but this is it. This is a really nice remote. Ever since the day I got it, I've used this multiple times a day. Really nice to have. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.